Hi there, I'm Emily Foden from Viola Yarns. Very happy to be talking to you today and very excited to be a part of this year's John Arvin Textiles Mill Open Weekend in my small little way from my corner of Canada. Um, Viola Yarns is a hand-dyed yarn business that I started many years ago. I don't remember dates very well, but I know it's more than 10 years now, so that's a bit of time. Viola began in Toronto, Canada, where I grew up, and since then has grown and evolved in a quite meandering journey. Right now, Viola is based in a very little place in southwestern Ontario called Mooresburg, which is in Gray County. Uh, on, in Ontario, if anyone is curious and wants to check a map. And we work out of a former general store, which is confusing for quite a lot of people driving past. Sometimes we have people stop and try to buy a chocolate bar. Sometimes they'll stop and pose for a photo on the front steps because it does look like a general store. So, I mean, we're not going to hold it against you, but we might be in the back of the photo making a confused face. It, that's happened before too. We will always have a stash of maple sugar sweets on hand for either a mid-morning, mid-afternoon, or both pick me up. Often both. They're our favorite thing. And interestingly, being in like the heart of maple country with maple syrup always on hand, I never get tired of it. Oh, what work-related things do we do aside from eating? Ha! Okay, well, any normal day will involve uh, a handful of people being here, myself and any one of three or four others who will all work part-time and are an enormous help to Viola. So it's often a little while before we actually get down to work. <laughs> but when we do, a normal day involves having the dye pots fired up. So there's a lot of in and out of the dye studio, checking on the yarn, adding color, turning the yarn. We'll normally get to dye, we call it two batches of yarn in a day. So depending on a bunch of logistics that are too tedious for you to worry about, we'll usually get two colors done, 40 to 100 skeins of each color. Uh, in addition to that, we'll be inside prepping yarn to be dyed, skeining yarn that has been dyed, photographing yarn, of course, keeping up with all of the daily emails and correspondence, inventories, tons of stuff. Also, choosing music is a very fun privilege that we pass around throughout the day, and it's uh, it's really nice to have a workplace that enjoys music so much and involves sharing our favorite music with one another, and yeah, so that's a very positive thing about work at Viola. My uh, family's dog, Lucy, who is no longer with us and who we miss very much, she was around from the very beginning, the first days of Viola, and was like the most vital team member. I think we all would agree. But you will find her preserved on Viola packaging, on the stickers that we wrapped the yarn from this specific shop update in. There's a Lucy Doodle. Now Lucy's successor is my little sister's dog, Violet, who is also absolutely wonderful. We are seriously a a dog loving group over here. Uh, here at Viola, our colors are always inspired by the landscape that surrounds us, the seasons, the changes, and the consistent things in the colors that we see outside our door. Each of us who works here has very different color preferences and views color in very different ways. So we also enjoy learning from one another uh, in how we each see maybe something that we think is the same or something that's different. And I think that work here at Viola has motivated each of us to study the landscape in a new and always changing ways. I usually go for as many walks as possible as a general rule, but especially if I'm feeling uh, 
uh, any type of of creative stuckness. I know going for a walk is the perfect solution. Most recently, as it's springtime, I've been venturing into the forest with rubber boots on because it's very squelchy and checking out the moss as it wakes up, as there's snow melts around it. And as the snow's receding and revealing a bunch of amazing, really quite bright orange colors and a a million browns. Um, yeah, it changes it changes the way that everything else looks in the forest as well. And I could I could just spend all my time thinking about how those colors shift and move and change. And it's really the layers of color that you can see that can be seen in the world as well as the ways that they change that influence viola yarns and the way that we dye and the colors that we choose to attempt to create. Sometimes we miss the mark by a lot and we're all surprised when a certain color emerges from the dye pot because you don't really know until the dyeing is finished. You can, you can guess, and I think the longer I've worked at dyeing yarn, the better my guess has become, but it still is always a surprise when a finished skein of yarn emerges from the dye pot. And sometimes I think, oh yeah, I got that. And then other times I go, huh, what the heck is that color and where did it come from? (laughs) Uh, Actually, and I really enjoy that surprise as well. Uh, It's all part of the process. Most of the footage that you are watching was filmed around the time of our latest Viola shop update, which we're still working on now, actually. They tend to sprawl over quite a number of weeks. We'll spend months and months dyeing yarn in preparation. When we have enough yarn ready, we photograph and put it all up on the website, and then we process orders for usually about two weeks afterwards. So what you're watching is uh, lots of picking orders, packing and sorting, some skeining and tagging, lots of jobs that take a really long time because there's just lots to do, but um, it's really fun and exciting. Packing orders to send all over the world is a huge thrill and we... (laughs) We're often pretty slow because we spend a long time admiring the color combinations that people choose, being inspired by um, knitting ideas that hadn't come to us yet, and um, well, sometimes just planning projects for the yarn that you choose. And the particular shop update that we are sharing with you is an extra special one because it is featuring our favorite yarn that John Arbin spins for us, which we call Polworth and Alpaca very creatively because those are the fibers that make up the yarn. (laughs) Um, It's a blend of fawn, is it fawn alpaca or it might be brown? I'm not sure. You might have to ask John. With Polworth, and it creates this amazingly brownish grayish base color that we then dye over top of and that color underneath the dye creates a even more luminous and rich and beautiful finished color it is definitely one of the most popular yarns that we dye and i've used it in some patterns in the book that i wrote knits about winter While not at work, I will explore the forest, go for long walks whenever possible, rain or shine, summer or winter. We here in Mooresburg live right next to a beautiful, clear, sparkly river that I swim in two or three times a day when it's warm and as often as possible or when I get the courage up through the winter. When I'm not outdoors, I will be knitting, thinking about knitting, or thinking about yarn, spinning yarn, weaving, and then when I manage to leave yarn behind for a moment, I could be drawing, painting, or baking. It feels like it all circles around a very similar creative zone, but I'm very happy there. 
I am pretty sure that I was present at the first ever John Arvin Textiles Mill Open Weekend because I used to work at the mill, uh, oh gosh, I don't know how long ago. I loved my time working at John Arvin Textiles, learning how all the machines work in the mill and making yarn. It's been such valuable knowledge for me carrying on with Viola since I came back to Canada. And the first mill open weekend was loads of fun and a really great idea. Actually, it inspired us here at Viola to do something similar and have a studio open day that we managed to host twice in the summer before the pandemic struck and of course we were no longer able to do that so I'm glad that my friends at John Arbin are doing this digital open weekend to keep the spirit alive and thank you very much for inviting me to contribute my little snippet of life here at Viola and here in Morsburg and yeah, big love to everybody out there listening and all my friends at John Arvin Textiles. Thank you. See you. Bye.